So today's subject is hockey biomechanics, specifically going into the dynamics of the stride, the skating stride. We're gonna break this down into five parts. The initial part we're gonna go into is the initial skate contact. Mickey, I'm gonna get you to lie on your side, please. What we're going to do is we are going to go into some of the primary muscles involved biomechanically in each part of the stride. Okay, Mickey, you okay with me accessing this area here? Yeah. Working on it? Okay, what I'm gonna get you to do is you're gonna go from here and you're gonna take both back like that. Okay. Okay? Just one sec here. So basically lock this off here and bring the leg back. So the initial skate contact phase commences when the skate blade, down, down, there we go, first interacts with the ice, usually on the outer edge of the skate. There we go, there and we back. Go. Yeah. <laughs> and take it back. So this is really a crucial moment in skating. It sets the tone for the power output and the uh, trajectory of the following stride. There we go, you okay? Yep. So, now, we're on the iliopsoas muscle here, and the primary fu function is to flex the hip, essentially pulling the knee inwards. Uh, this is fundamental to initiating the stride and uh, setting the stage for a very powerful push-off while skating. Now, I'm only showing and demonstrating one side here, but we'd always show both sides. So if we start to get an issue with the uh, iliopsoas muscle, the hip flexors, this will impact the ability to initiate the stride effectively, and the uh, skater will basically have a struggle lifting the knee high enough to generate enough force for a powerful stride. You doing okay? Oh yeah. And take it back. Good. All right, so let's move on to the next structure, which is the quadriceps. I'm gonna get you to have a seat here and just bring your right leg down on the side of your place. Okay, so we're gonna start out here. Grabbing the leg, good. Back. Doing okay there? Mm-hmm. We're talking about the initial stage of contact. The quadriceps actually has a dual function in the back in both hip flexion and knee extension. It stabilizes the knee as the uh, skate blade hits the ice. You doing okay? Mm -hmm. And again. So if we start to get instability in the quadricep, either through a muscle imbalance or weakness or injury or for a number of other reasons, we'll start to get instability or wobbleness, wobbly type skiing. Just as the uh, skate hits the ice, this disrupts the stride and the uh, technique's overall quality. And even the fact of skating like this, it'll lead to uh, imbalances and could also lead to overuse injuries. I'm gonna get you to lie on your side, fading off this one over here. To grab your leg, take it in, back up to this one, use the other one. Okay, get back, there we go, right there. Okay, now we'll just get a little bit of motion there. How are we doing? <laughs> just great. Okay, all right, take it back, and again, bring it in. Good. Doing okay there? Now, not too hard working on Mickey here, but sometimes with skaters, we get huge thighs. And as a practitioner, it's really important to be able to get in there and actually generate enough power. By using this technique, I have no problem. It doesn't matter how big the thighs are of the hockey player. Good. Let's have you lie on your side, please, towards me. So that was on the lateral quadricepsis lateralis, and I'm going to get more on the medials, but also a little bit of the inductor adductor here. Okay, 
Okay, in, grab. Good. Doing okay? Yep. Back. And out. Okay. Now I'll use my hand. Take it in. Grab it. Back. And again. It can be a lot more precise than actually just using my hand like this. But as you see, I am not making a fist. I have an open hand, laying it flat, so I have a larger surface contact area. You okay? Yeah. Oh. And back. A very common area we have a problem with is the VMO, vastus medialis obliquus. I'm going to get right on here, bring it in, take it in, and then just some small nuances here. Feeling that quite a bit? Yeah, it's really, it's nice though. It's really, that's a good spot. This is not an easy area to work on either as a practitioner, but this actually makes it quite easy. Good. Good. Okay, so that was phase one, some critical structures. Let's move on to phase two.